Kate is a chef. Kate is a chef. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Night is my is my live broadcast. I'm super thankful that you join me. Join me here. Because because we are the people that are going to be here. Thank you. Everything for the bomb. Thank you. So guys, what I'm going to do is share with you guys the link to the bomb. And we're, and going, we're going, going to create, to create the very names. And also, and also we are going to name dips. So, so I'm going to go through um, each um, recipe, recipe you guys, one by one. one. So, so uh, feel, uh, feel free to engage with me. me. Feel free to um, um, ask, ask questions. questions. Let's go Let's chat, chat away. away. Uh, before, uh, before we get begin, guys, guys, I would like, like to talk about, about our $100. $100. Cash, raffle So there, so there you go, guys. guys. We are going, going to have, to have a raffle, raffle, and, and, and we're going to put in all, in all our entities to give us a raffle, raffle bowl, and, and we're, we're going to put it out. out. We're, we're, we're going to announce, announce one, 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 so, so guys, guys, if you're ready, ready, I am, I am ready, ready to chat, chat, hey, 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 but, but that again, that again, I just, I just paid a um, um, shout out to the first place that made it, made it from, the from the beginning of the show. Of show. Uh, um, three months, months later, later after the end of, of, of the Dining Show, where we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are live. live. So, so thank, thank, thank you guys, guys for all your support. And, and shout, out shout out to everybody, everybody who's being supported of the Dining Show. show. And all corners, corners of the world. Of the world. Uh, also, also shout, shout out, out to all my friends and friends and friends in the U.S. I'm so hard, hard. I know, I know that I'm so hard, hard to find a ton. Common, common to, a to a lot of people. But, but right, right now, now, I know, I know there's some out there that is waiting for the show at 3.30 in the morning. So, so thank, thank you for that. that. Anyways, Anyways, hello, hello, thank you. Hello, Juan. Hello, hello, bye. So, all our friends in the Middle East. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you for, you for all, your all your support. support. All right, all right. So, so I'm going to start the night right? um, um, with talking about, about the, the, the skewers, skewers, skewers that, that, that they usually use, right? right? So, so they have, they have here, here are just, just a number, number of um, sizes. sizes. And, and I want to start, to start about this, this, so, so this, this. Right here, right here is a cute one. I'm really and it's perfect for Apple for Apple. 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 Here's my go to, my go -to guy. guy. If I make a free, free, tight, 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 it's medium. It's enough to get good, good ingredients. And uh, so, so this is organic. Organ now, now, this is the larger of all this. I like, I like this, this one. one. Tell you why. Because, because there's, there's this flower part right there. That is not that handle. So, so it's it's never never the quick quick as as you you your your region, region and, and this stick it actually um uh, uh sometimes it's, it's a barrier, barrier. So, so we 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 we
I use this also for um, uh, ground meat. So there's that portion right there that can uh, be used to adhere the ground meat. But for the most part, what I really like to use when I deal with ground meat is actually chopsticks. So because it's a little wide and there's a lot of surface for the ground meat to adhere to it, this is really my go-to guy. So I'm gonna show you guys later on because one of our recipes, um, I'll be using lamb, uh, ground lamb. So um, later on you'll see, see in your kitchen guys, I always say that we gotta be clever and we gotta be resourceful and find uh, you know, useful items. So I'm gonna put this away for now. Excuse you guys. And because I already prepared some of my sticks here. What I did with these guys, there's a variety here that I am all um, I'm prepared to use um, to skewer our kebabs, right? So what I did is I already pre-soaked them. Usually um, you pre-soak them so it doesn't get burned when you barbecue it. Well. Today, we are going to barbecue on my stove top using a flat grill. So pretty much, I don't really need to soak it, but I did, and I wanted to talk about it because it's a common mistake of a lot of people who likes to make shish kebab, they don't soak their uh, sticks. So anyways, guys, I wanted to begin the process. Let's start and um, skewer away. So um, don't forget, guys, I just wanted to uh, remind you guys that you can actually leave in comments, um, ask me anything and everything under the sun as we go along. And let's make this fun and let's make this a memorable experience because it's my first time doing the live. So, guys, I'm going to start with veggies kebab. So let's go for the healthy um option first so i'm going to use vegetables and, and tofu, tofu which i which i prepared already. already and, and um, uh, but before, but before I, began, I began curing away, away what i wanted, what I wanted to, to do, do is start in our, our menu, menu. And, then and then i want to, to uh, uh, put together, put together our, our so guys, what I have here is just a basic bowl and just my whisk. The reason why I wanted to start with the marinade first is because I want all the ingredients to marry together before we use it in basting or brushing our kebabs so uh, I call this brush or marinade same banana so let's start with half a cup of extra virgin olive oil now guys um, I'm only going to make little portions because we have six recipes to go through today okay so I'm gonna pour half a cup of olive oil into my bowl and then I'm going to put one fourth teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. And then I am going to put one fourth teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. And it doesn't want to swim in olive oil <laughs> there you go so next is i am going to put half a teaspoon of turmeric you know i love turmeric guys this is such a healthy ingredient it's actually ha it has anti-inflammatory properties so you know at the very chance you can incorporate that in your recipe go for it now guys i'm just gonna mix this bowl away with all that ingredient, delicious. This is what we are going to use as our brush, marinade, or base when we start barbecuing 
or grilling our vegetable kebab. Mm -hmm. Look at that, nice and yummy. Okay, so I'm gonna put that away, set it aside. So we have a system here for my madness. And then next, I wanted to create our dip. So the reason why I started with mar marinade, guys, uh, I'm gonna repeat it again. It's because I want all the ingredients to get soaked, infuse all together, marry all together. Now we're going to create our dip. So our dip, guys, like I mentioned earlier, we're not gonna make a lot, but in any case that you guys want more, just double up on the portions. So what I have here, guys, is um, let's start with um, some um, some sour cream. I have half a cup of sour cream here. For a moment, I was thinking, what did I put here? So there you go. I'm going to put my sour cream right there. And then, guys, I'm going to toss in our yogurt. So also half a cup of yogurt. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to double up, go for it, guys. Double up on the ingredients. So every little last drop right there. And then we're going to season this, guys. So what I'm going to do is start with Himalayan salt. So I have here... Uh, how many did I put here? One fourth also. One fourth teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. One fourth teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. And I have half a teaspoon of dill. Yum. And we're just going to mix all the ingredients together. Look at that. So yum already. And I could smell that delicious goodness right here. So how's everyone today? I hope all you guys are doing well. And really, really, I'm super, super elated that you guys are here. Look, look at my mixture. See the consistency kind of changed and so perfect now. Oh, my God. I can't wait to dip my veggie kebab in this look how beautiful that is guys ha ah, and it smells glorious all right guys we're done with our brush we're done with our dip now it's time to have fun and skewer away all right so let me put these babies aside just so I don't have to knock them over. And I'm going to put my dirty dishes in the sink. There you go. I like to clean as I go. Good practice, guys. Now, if you guys are ready, let's do this. Guys, I chose kebabs because it's so much fun to do this. Just curing away, to skewer away is, is, I don't know, it's just fun for me. And this is something that you guys can actually do with your family. So that's really the reason why on my first episode, I, you, I chose um, to feature kebabs, everything kebab, because this is so much fun to do with your kids. And as you chat away, as you ask them about how they're doing, how, how's, you know, how they are, pretty much you can skewer away and be productive. So guys, let's go ahead and start skewering. Uh, what I have here, I just wanna go through with all the recipes that I, uh, I'm sorry, all the ingredients that we have here in front of us. So we're going to use, of course, tofu. So the tofu that I, I'm gonna use, guys, is firm tofu. And then, of course, I have eggplant. Yum! And then I have 
yellow bell peppers. I like yellow bell peppers because they're sweet. And of course, we have green bell peppers. It's beautiful. Um, aesthetically speaking, nice colors. And we're going to put some um, tomatoes. Guys, if you're going to skewer away some tomatoes, make sure that you pick tomatoes that are firm. Do not get or use overripe tomatoes because you're going to have a hard time skewering away. It's going to fall apart. And our last ingredient is um, onions. So pretty much I just um, slice them up in nice little pieces that is not too tiny, not too large. And we have this medium stick that we're going to use to skewer them away. So you're ready, guys? I'm ready. Let's start with the firm tofu. So I'm going to grab a tofu right here. And I am going to place my skewer right down in the middle all the way through like so you got to be careful when you're skewering them guys because tofu tend to be fragile and that's the reason why i chose firm tofu next of course i like to incorporate a bell pepper let's put some bell pepper now it's you can actually skewer it either way from the skin up or from the inside down doesn't matter but i kind of wanted to uh, play around with the positioning of all the ingredients just so it it looks more fun and then we're going to put our eggplant so i got some good good looking eggplant here. What I did is I cut them into circles and I just cut the, uh, the circle into half. So I am gonna skewer this baby through like so carefully because I want it right there in the middle. Now guys, um, if you're gonna, you can actually use a thicker cut slice. This is about half an inch, like the, I, 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 I cut into half an inch thick thickness because I knew that I was going to use a, a very thin skewer. So um, half an inch, if you want to go uh, thicker, you can go one inch in thickness. And then next we're going to put some onions because onions actually promote that delicious flavor. And then we are going to put some tomatoes like so guys yummy look at that so pretty already look how colorful that is and we haven't even added our green bell pepper which will add more color to it see so look guys look how fun that is it's looking gorgeous already so you got white yellow purple Oh, orange and green. How delicious is that? So I'm going to go ahead and skewer some more of this beautiful tofu, firm tofu. I love tofu. You know, it's my go-to protein if I kind of want to eat healthy. That's what I do. So we're just basically going to repeat the process, guys. So tofu, and then we're going to put some bell pepper, the yellow bell pepper right here. And then we're going to put more eggplant. Like this guy right here is a little thicker than that guy over there, but uh, it doesn't matter. I basically did not use a ruler when I was cutting it. <laughs> but look at that, guys. So, so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm having so much fun already. Man, I wish you guys are here so you can help me skew away. Okay, there you go. So basically, that's what we have done. And we ended up with just one tiny bell pepper right there. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is, guys. Look. Ta-da! See? And then guess what? Once we brush that... Um, nice turmeric uh or turmeric turmeric or turmeric tomato tomato potato potato once we start brushing it that um yellowish tint will cover 
the white and stuff and it's really going to look more awesome so why don't i uh skewer another one away just so i can show you again how i did it but you get what you get the sequence. Actually, guys, you can actually pretty much do whatever you, sequence you want. But I kind of wanted to distribute the colors and the flavors. And that's the reason why I kind of chose like to do this. Yum. Look at that. I'm, get, I'm getting faster. Ooh, look at this. I'm having so much fun now. So guys, if you guys have any question, just feel free to, to type away. And uh, I'm gonna try my best to answer you as we go along with our securing process. I could see cool comments already coming along. Thank you guys. Hi. Hey, Mackie. I just saw Savannah. Mackie, yummy. You're still away. Hi, Aloha. Hi, I am Cam. Oh, thank you. So, Mackie, you're still awake and it's she's in Honolulu right now. Hola, Aloha, girl. Aloha. Ooh. See, I made a mistake. <laughs> I like to put this first. So there you go. I saw subs. Say hi, everyone. Show me some love. Oh, my goodness, my bestie. I love Chris. Mr. Chris. Chris Ibanez. Hi, love. How are you? Thanks for making it. All support to the girlfriend, right? Thank you, thank you. I was just chatting with him earlier. And I'm not going to tell you guys what he told me. <laughs> hey, Christian. <laughs> do you dry your tofu before you screw it down? Well, I what I do is I pat them dry with... Just a regular kitchen towel because you know the tofu comes with. That's a great question. Tofu it has a uh, has a juice or water in a package, so I discard the package and I pat the tofu dry. Make sure it's super dry before I cut them up. And you know if I'm not going to use it yet, I would always put cling wrap to cover it. Oh, my sister Lizelle is here. Hi, sis. Hello, direct from Dubai. Hola. Leonard Lee Valdez. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Good evening. So happy that you're here. I'm so thrilled that all you guys are here with me right now. So as you skewer along, guys, you'll notice that you will be more adapted to the whole thing and you are going to skewer away faster and as you blabber away like what i'm doing things go by so fast and don't forget guys the most important thing is of course enjoy the process it's really the journey guys the destination is sweet especially if it's really sweet but it really is all about the journey so there you go. I'm probably going to skewer three of each kind. And then we're going to move along and do our next recipe. Are you guys having fun so far? Oh, Lisa Madamba. Hi, Tita Gunda. I miss you so much. Aliza. I just want to say shout out, Aliza. Mm, Ali girl, super sweet, super thoughtful, super smart. I miss you so much, too. Hi from Dubai. Sorry. Hi to Dubai from Guam. Tita Ganda. You guys, you guys know what Tita Ganda means? 
Tita Ganda means Auntie Pretty. Oh no, Auntie Beautiful. <laughs> So I'm having so much fun doing this. You know, this is my first time. I was a little bit um, intimidated. Honestly, guys, I have been prepping for this live show. I thought that was quite ambitious because I only started uh, the Dining Diva, um, all my Dining Diva platforms like three months ago. So I started with Facebook, my personal page, and then I started with, um, and then I opened up where I made the page for Dining Diva. And then I start, I did my IG. And then guess what? I ended up in YouTube. And three months later, here I am. The Dining Diva is already doing live. And thanks to all you guys, because you guys really inspire me to create recipes. And so I really love what I'm doing right now. Initially, when I started doing all these, it's because I just wanted to survive the quarantine. But guess what? Um, to be honest, guys, I have been cooking all my life since I was 12 years old. So pretty much, I love cooking. I actually have a cookbook. It's called Cooking a la Diva. And um, honestly, it was just uh, all these things. It's just revisiting my passion. And I'm so glad that I finally, finally did this because <laughs> the Dying Diva show was supposed to happen like over a decade ago. And finally, here we are. So perfect. I just want to let you guys know that we are done. I'm just going to do three of each kind, okay? So look how gorgeous these guys are. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to show you guys that I will brush. So so we have this um, marinade or brush that we have created earlier, and um, it's just basically olive oil, salt, pepper, and turmeric. Uh, stick around, guys, all the way to the end because um, we were we will show you guys all the ingredients and portions and everything, okay? So there you go. What I'm going to do here is, I'm going to put you so far. What I'm going to do is I'm going to brush these kebabs with these marinades just so you can see how it will look like before we toss them in the grill. Now, I'm not going to grill this yet, guys. You know why? Because um, I was thinking might as well finish all the kebabs. Let's finish everything. Let's cure everyone. And then in the end of the show, that's when I am going to grill all these babies. There you go. Look how beautiful that is, guys right look how that one half teaspoon of turmeric made a beautiful beautiful difference right look at that now i'm gonna flip it over look at that i'm so happy that they are skewered tightly you just have to be careful by the way guys another tip is when, once you already skewer one portion, make sure that you don't take it off and skewer it in the, because it tends to make the whole loose. You want to skewer it again. If you kind of like made a mistake and, you know, you wanted something else to skewer, then make sure not to poke the same hole. Because... You know, you got to handle it with care, guys. Why? Because, look, this guy is so firm. So when we grill it, it's not going to fall apart. And that's the most important thing. Hello, Misha J. Yes, it's true. It already looks so good. I kid you not. And guess what? It doesn't just look so good but it tastes so good. It's, guys, this is incredible. It's not just delicious. It's not just appealing to the eye. It's not just nutritious, but it's just incredibly easy to make. So your family will enjoy eating this, even the kids, because guess what? Don't forget, we made this delicious dip. So if you want to double up on um, or to make more dip, 
as I mentioned earlier, just double up on the portions. So on that note, guys, let me put these guys away for now because we are done with our veggie kebab. Yay! One down, five more to go, guys. So let me just put these guys on the side right here. Excuse me, I'll be back. And I'm gonna put away our brush or our marinade and our dip. And then guys, I am also going to put away our veggies. All right, so they're all clean because I super scrubbed them myself, guys. So I'm just gonna stack them up, you know, See, I can actually work as a wait staff. I can balance things. Ta -da. So, what's our next? All right, guys, let's prepare. What's next? Let me just go ahead and wash my hands for the kids. We are going to start with our dish in Guys, we have so much good stuff to do. Oh my God. I am looking chunky today. Yes, that's right. We have our chicken kebab next, guys. So let me put these guys right here and let's prepare our ingredients. So like what we did earlier, guys, I would like to start with the marinade or our brush. And then we're going to do our um, dip. So with this dip, guys, um, I am going to melt some cheeses. We're going to do kind of like a fondue style. So yum. This is going to be awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's go ahead and start with our marinade. Hold on. Sorry, guys, because there is this tiny little hair. <laughs> anyway, so what do we have here? All right, we have olive oil, salt, pepper, oregano, and basil. Ooh, yummy. Perfect. These are good, 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 good ingredients that we have here, guys. So um, I just want to show you guys what, I, what we have. We have some chicken that I cubed. Um, these are boneless, skinless um, breast. I'm using breast because it's kind of a little hearty and thick. So I'm able to use like, um, make a square. And then I have um, ham pieces that I cubed. And then I have some pineapple chunks. So you can see we're gonna deal with salty, sweet, and savory here. We have our onions. And um, we have our cheeses here. So I have a half cup of combination cheese here. And of course, I have a half a cup of, what do I have here? Milk. And I have some chives right here. So, sorry, these are my green onions. So we're just gonna use two tablespoons of that. All right, guys, so if you guys are ready, let's start with our marinade. So, into our bowl, we are going to pour our olive oil. There you go, guys. I have here half a cup of olive oil. Okay. There you go. All the way. 
actually. And then we are going to season it with one fourth teaspoon of Himalayan salt. So I have that Himalayan pink salt again. And then I have, sorry, that's about one fourth teaspoon of Himalayan salt, one fourth teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. And then we have half a teaspoon of oregano and half a teaspoon of basil. They're all dried herbs. So we're using dried oregano and dried basil, guys. And what I'm going to do is just whisk away, make sure that all that beautiful flavor gets infused into our basting oil. Okay. Yum. Ooh, look at that. Herby. This is herby, guys. So I'm excited about this one too. Sorry, I'm going to keep on going to my sink because I want to clean as I go. So now we're done with our marinade, guys. We are now going to put together our dip. Yes, our dip, delicious dip. So, guys, with this dip, um, sorry, I don't need a bowl. I forgot that we are going to use, uh, I'm going to use my crock pot. So I have a baby crock pot right here, right there. And what I'm going to do is just, I kind of like preheated it already earlier. So we're going to do kind of like a fondue style. So I'm going to put in the milk. It's very easy. I hope you can see it. Can you see my crock pot? How's that? Yay. Okay. Let me just adjust it just so you guys can see it. I plugged it. That's why. I don't want to touch that. Can you see that? Yay. Yay. All right. So I'm just going to pour, um, you know, the ingredients and then let the cheese melt. So what I have here is about half a cup of milk, guys. And then I am going to incorporate half a cup of uh, our mixed cheeses. Hi, Jen. How are you? Thanks for coming. So half a cup of mixed cheeses. This is pretty much... Um, Monterey Jack and cheddar cheeses. So what we're going to do, guys, is just pretty much melt the cheese away. So this baby right here, this is awesome. So you can also use the fondue um, set, you know, with a tiny little votive candle underneath, and then it'll do the same uh, purpose. And then I'm going to put two tablespoons of green onions, just two tablespoons. There. there you go. Mm. This is going to be so yummy because it's going to be cheesy, melty cheesy that is oniony. There's going to be a little saltiness to it because of the cheeses. That's why I'm not going to add any more seasoning. But, guys, if you wish to make it a little more salty, go ahead, add a pinch of salt, add a pinch of pepper. You want some peppery flavor, go for it. But so that is basically what we're going to do with this dip. Later on, it's going to be like super melty. So I'm going to set this aside, guys, cover it up, and I'm just going to visit it again from time to time. So I'll put it over here right there and we are going to skewer away so this is super exciting mary jane hello from sydney australia oh my goodness mj thank you for stopping by yes they're yummy they do look yummy and but they are really yummy so hello australia sydney australia so we got a couple more a uh, couple of friends there um 
and she's one of them and um i'm glad you're able to make it here thank you so much girl so we're gonna start with our skewering process all right so it's gonna be fun the sweet salty savory yum all right guys ready ready are we ready get some skewers Team Wade Paris. Oh, hello. Team Wade Paris. Paris. Is should I say shout out to somebody from Paris? Mm, thank you so much for being here. And Paps Nation, shout out. Shout out to Paps Nation. All right, guys. I'll put this away right here. <laughs> And let's go ahead and start skewering away our chicken kebab. Let's go ahead and start with the ham. So why? Because the ham is a big cube right here and it's kind of like firm and kind of sturdy. So what I use here, guys, is a block of ham that I chopped up into cube pieces. So that's what we have here. And um, you can actually use ham slices. There is a, a, a pretty way. Um, I should have I should have also uh, prepared some ham slices so I can show you. You can actually um, roll it like little ruffles. So it's kind of cute when you actually skewer it together. Uh, choose the one that is round. And because uh, that one you can fold into half and fold into one fourth and skewer it, and it's going to create the ridges will create like a ruffle effect, and it's going to be gorgeous in your skewer stick. And guys, I just want to let you guys know that um, you can also use like turkey slices, you know, not just ham slices, but here because we have the pineapple, the chicken, uh, for me, ham is the best pair. For it. So now I am going to skewer our onion. So there you go, guys. So I got my ham, my onion, and I am going to skewer our chicken. Like I mentioned earlier, guys, I am going to use, uh, oh, I cube this chicken and I use chicken breasts because they tend, they tend to be, um, Thicker than the boneless, skinless, uh, what do you call that? Uh, chicken thighs. So it's 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 better to work with uh, the chicken breast uh, because. But you can use um, chicken thighs, no problem. The dark meat is always delicious because it's juicier. But um, this will do well too. So guys, what we're gonna do is now put some pineapple chunks. So these are only canned pineapple that I got from the grocery store, but it will add um, a beautiful look to our kebab and a delicious sweet taste. Uh, this actually pineapple, it will cleanse your palate. So it's pretty awesome. So you can double up in your pineapple. See, this is just a sequence that I'm showing you guys, but uh, you can feel free to do uh, your own sequence or how you guys wanted to do it. So I can also add another layer of onion so it's yummy before I skewer my ham. So I skewered it earlier. This is what I was saying, guys. I am going to a different uh, Marissa Salini. Hi, hello. I'm going for a different, um, I, I poke it in a different area. So there you go, guys. And then we're going to put another onion. And I'm going to put my chicken cube like so. And then I'm going to put my pineapple like so look at that isn't that gorgeous guys your family is gonna love this not only that this is awesome when you have parties your friends gonna be like oh my goodness you have enslaved yourself for me all right so back to the ham ham the damn damn okay 
to some ham again, guys. Well, this is messier than earlier because these guys are juicy. And onion. I'm going to put some onion and some, oh, sorry, some chicken again. And we are going to end it with a nice piece of pineapple on top. Ooh, look at that. So I'm going to push it down. So this is a bigger, longer kebab than what we did earlier. But guys, you can see how gorgeous that is. Ta-da! You can see I'm having so much fun. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to skewer away another one. Maritess Quisha, hi there. Yes, I will definitely share the recipe. Hi, sister. I am glad that you're here. So Tess is here and Joe, Josephine, watching from Manila. Hi, Joe and Tess. Thank you for making this show. This is super special for me because this is my very first live broadcast. So there you go, guys. I'm going to make this a little faster. That's what I said earlier, right? <laughs> there you go. Pineapple. Onions. So you, got, you, you get it, guys, right? Look at the, the nice arrangement that we have here. So ham again, and then I'll put some onions and some pineapple. Samir, watching and having dinner. Sure, it's a great combination. Yes, it is. Thank you for being here. Super appreciate your presence. What am I missing? Oh, chicken. Okay, I skewered that pineapple already right there. Chicken, and I'm just going to do... Another onion. There you go, guys. Now we're going to put another block. So pretty much, as I had mentioned earlier, we are just going to make uh, three of a kind. Okay. All right. What is missing? Oh, my chicken. Almost the same color, that's why. All right, there you are. Chicken. All right, guys, this is going to be super perfect. There you go. So, one more. One more, and we're done with our chicken kebab. Now, guys, I'm, I'm out of onions. So, we're just going to... Position the onion somewhere else. <laughs> Out of onions for this one. So we'll do this. We can add pineapple. That's fine. And we can add uh, chicken, ham, pineapple. That's what we can do here. So like I mentioned earlier, you can actually feel free to do whatever combination you wanted to do. And then I'm going to use the last onion. Oh, hey, I have two onions there. I could have used the other one here. There. There you go. Pineapple. Onion. Pineapple. Chicken. 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 All right, flat tray. What? What part of chicken did you use? Oh, I use uh, chicken breast because we want healthy. <laughs> no, uh, the reason why, as I, as I explained earlier, I use chicken breast because they are more hardy. They're thicker in cut. It's boneless, skinless chicken breast. But feel free to use, um, uh, what do you call this, uh, dark meat. So now what I'm going to do, guys, is brush, ooh, use this marinade, and we'll brush it. Okay, so you guys can see exactly how the herbs in the brush will complement the look of our 
chicken kebab. I really just called it chicken kebab, but technically you can actually call this Hawaiian kebab. So this is perfect if you have Hawaiian parties, guys, because there's ham and pineapple. So you can pretty much call it Hawaiian kebab. There you go. Guys, can you see how beautiful that is? Look at that. And I'm going to turn it around just so we can coat every single piece of them with this beautiful, beautiful marinade. And we can actually save some marinade. This is a lot of marinade that we have created. It's good for a whole batch of uh, a lot of uh, kebabs. See that? Mm, 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 mm. Look at those herbs. Mm. It's also so beautiful. It looks delicious already, guys. Look at that. Yum. Look at that, guys. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to set this aside just like what we did with our veggie kebab. And we are going to let the marinade uh, seep into our ingredients and we'll barbecue it later. We're going to go grilling later. All right, guys. So let me put this away on the side. Oopsie daisies, let us. Ooh, look at that. It's melty, melty. Look at that cheese. It's already melty, guys. Melty cheese. So this guy will just melt away later on and the consistency will be thicker. And if you like it super, super thick cheese, if you like it super thick cheese sauce, guys, uh, add more cheese and that's okay. So let's go ahead. I'm going to move these babies into my counter here. Excuse me, I'll be back. And this is going to, to be, be exciting the next round. I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> this is the messy part. Okay. Now let me um, wash my hands, guys. Because I held the chicken. Do you use pure olive oil? I'm just using extra virgin olive oil. Miguela, Mackie down, two down. Yes, Jasmine, hi. Shout out to Jasmine, yes, two down. Four more to go. But this next one, guys, hold on. Let me put the, let me put this here. So on the screen, guys, you can see the ingredients that I use. The portions, please be with me until all the way of this show because the portions we will put, uh, we will flash them later on at the end of the show. But we have come to a pretty good, how long do you marinate the herbs and spices and the oil for basing? It was just basically um, 10 minutes ago when I did that. And uh, pretty much um, it will seep through. And that's the reason why... I kind of want to um, to to do the, the marinade first so it sits there. So pretty much, what, 20 minutes earlier pass, and we're going to soak the kebabs in the marinade, and that's what they're doing. The two kebabs that we created, the veggie and chicken kebab, are already in soaking their marinade. So that's enough time until we grill later for it to get soaked. Of course, like anything else, the longer you soak, the better you should do a mukbang with Bretman Rock in Hawaii. Bretman. Hey, I'm up for anything. You know me. So, guys, we are mukbang. Oh, my God. I have to prepare my tummy. Okay, so our next, I'm just going to put our uh, melted cheese right here on the side. Don't want to knock it over. 
So this is interesting, interesting. Uh, I'm a little intimidated with this one because we are handling ta-da, ground lamb. Yep, yum, yum. So uh, ground lamb. Aliza, yes, yum, yum. Jed, yes, yum, yum. So our ground lamb, guys, what I did is I already pre-marinated this earlier. I mean yesterday from last night pretty much because what I wanted is all the flavors to get into the ground lamb. So what I have here is one pound of ground lamb, uh, half a cup of onions, two tablespoons of garlic. It's fresh garlic. I minced the garlic. I also minced the onions. Um, next is one per cup of parsley, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground pepper, one teaspoon cumin, one teaspoon coriander, one teaspoon paprika, and one fresh egg. I broke it. So what I did is last night I already pre-marinated it because I want all the flavors of all those herbs that I put here uh, seep into the delicious lamb meat. And what I did after I marinated it, guys, is I put it in the fridge. So um for the onions i just wanted to 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 uh, mention that i minced the onions guys but pretty much you can also grate the onions if you want just make sure that you uh discard the juice but because i don't like i want to save my juice um i just mince my onions nuki blood shout out Mega, mega, mega shout out to Nuki. Hey, you made it from Middle East. Work. She's in Dubai right now. Boom. Thank you for coming. She's one of my mentors. So, um, uh, Nuki Blogs, guys, she helps me a lot. So, she's my friend since forever, since we were in high school. Yes, United Bloggers of UAE. Hello. Super mega shout out to all you guys. Thank you so much, all of you guys. Thanks for being here. Super happy. Super, super happy that you guys are here. So, guys, we're going to make our marinade first, okay? So, let's go ahead and get another whisk. And this is super, duper simple. All we're going to do is just pretty much toss in half a cup of uh, olive oil. As you can see, I'm just using olive oil all throughout. And then I'm just going to put uh, half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper and half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. And pretty much mm -mm, that's about it. We're going very simple marinade for the lamb. Why, guys? Because I have already packed the ground lamb with so much flavors. So a simple basting marinade or brush will do the trick. So we are going to set that aside because we're going to use that later. But next, guys, I want to uh, show you guys how we can put our dip together. So we're going to create a dip, but honestly, the meat alone, the lamb, uh, the ground lamb, Alone is super duper flavorful already. John Nathaniel, yes, ask mama. Ask mama to make this for you. It's super easy and you know, it's healthy. So she would probably most likely wanna do this for you. Okay, so guys, we have here our ingredients, yummy, yummy dip. So a lot of flavors in our meat, a lot of flavors in our dip. You can eat your meat as it is with rice, pita bread, mm, yummy. Or you can dip it in this one. So what I have here, guys, I have half a cup of yogurt. So onto our bowl. And then we are going to incorporate half a cup of mayo. So what I have here, guys, is just light mayo. It does smell good. Are you drooling, Tess? <laughs> it does smell good already here in my kitchen. 
Oh my God, can you imagine once we start grilling this, guys? And then I am going to season it first with, I have here one four teaspoon of fresh ground pepper, one four teaspoon of Himalayan salt, And then I have half a teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon of onion powder. Whoa, loaded with goodness. And guys, don't forget, I have here cilantro. So I'm just going to incorporate one tablespoon of cilantro. Love cilantro. The freshness of this herb is just incredible. So guys, what I'm using is fresh cilantro and we're just going to mix all the ingredients together and that is going to be our delicious oh hi oh jb happy birthday oh my goodness thank you for making it to the dining diva show i hope that you had a wonderful celebration shout out to you so there you go look at that guys Oh my goodness, delish. I can smell it. Mm, yum. All right, so that's going to be our dip. And we are going to set this aside, guys, because, uh, hi, Kylie B. We are going to set this aside, guys, because we are now, we have reached the challenging part, which is skewering ground lamb. So before I start with that, guys, I just want to put this away in my sink. Put that in the sink. All right, guys. Are we ready? I got my clean hands. So remember, I, uh, I wash my hands later. So are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Here we go. Guys, what I'm going to use, so there's two types of stick that uh, I explained this earlier. I said that uh, we can use this long uh, stick with the flat. Mayora Ipe, kind tie in the to Texas chicken after. Woo! Of course, <laughs> take me along. But no, I have so much food here. Just come here. So um, this actually is a good uh, thing to hold or to adhere your uh, your ground meat too. So I like using this if I don't have chopsticks, but most of the time, guys, I use chopsticks because they are flat. There's so much surface. They are flat and there's so much surface too for our meat to adhere to. So I'm gonna get some um, water here in the side. Guys, I'm just going to put a little bit of water right here. This is for my hand, so I can soak my hand later. It's actually clean water that I'm going to use. Ah, that's the proof. And <laughs> that's drinking water. So I'm going to prepare some towel on the side. And guys, I am ready. We're going to use chopsticks. I'm going to use this. And I am going to get a good amount of meat onto my palm. Okay, watch this closely, guys. This is a cool, cool trick. All right. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to use my right hand. But you know what? I am going to wet my hand a little bit. And that trick, wetting your hand. So show you guys that I wet my hand a little bit. Okay. So the meat does not stick into my hand. So just so you can see, look, my, my palm is still clean because you want to do this trick where you dip a little bit. Uh, you dip um, your palm or your hand and with your fingers a little bit in water before you handle uh, the meat. And make a ball, okay? Make a ball, and after that, you squeeze the ball and 
So what I'm doing here, guys, is the reason why I made a ball first is because I want to make sure that all the meat, the ground meat, will adhere with each other. That way, it's easier for you to manipulate it and put it in the stick, okay? So this is super fragile. That's why. This is a little, it's fun too, you know? You know, I'm sure. And then from there, I like to use my chopsticks because it's flat and like I said, a lot of surface. I'm gonna make an indentation in the middle like so. You see it, that guys? And then I'm gonna cover it. And from there, I am just gonna seal that opening and voila, look at that. Look at that perfect kebab. Mm. So guys, you can actually you do this with ground beef, with ground pork, with ground chicken, ground turkey, and any ground meat. Ooh, look at that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Any comments, guys? Isn't that impressive? Woohoo. All right, look at that. Now, um, you guys can actually do like little if you want to flatten it, then you can actually use your finger to kind of like make a indentation. And so you can do a round or you can flatten it a bit. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this aside. So let me get a brush because what I'm going to do is brush the surface right here before I lay down our cobwebs. All right just so it doesn't stick to my plate. Look at that, incredible. Yummy. Oh, I'm having so much fun. You bet, guys, I'm having so much fun. All right, next, so like that, another chopsticks. So we'll do this again, the process that I showed you guys, wet your hand a little bit, get a good amount of ground, marinated ground lamb, make a ball, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit more. And a little bit more, there. So, like I showed you guys earlier, I wet my hand, now I'm making a ball. If you have a bigger bowl, or a, a bigger bowl, guys, you can actually round them in the side of your bowl. But right now, I'm just using my hand to pretty much make sure that all the tiny little morsel of that ground lamb adheres with each other, okay? And then from there, I'm gonna start making it longer, like so, okay? And then I am going to start positioning my chopsticks in the middle like so okay just like what we did and then we close the opening wrap the meat around your chopsticks i kid you not guys it's not shish kebab sticks that is best for this trick but honestly I just thought that I've been using chopsticks. I just thought to myself, you know, even before, this is my little kitchen hacks, you know. So now you know how I make my perfect kebabs. Yummy. Lamb kebabs. Look at that. Yum. There you go, guys. And that's our second one, right? On to our third. Yay. Yay. All right. If I tell you the show is fancy, I mean it. Sam, it's not really fancy, fancy. It's just a lot of um, good hacks, good tricks. It's really a show for everybody. That's the main goal is to really show people how I do how I've been cooking in my kitchen since ever since. So there you go. Yummers. 
I'm going to do the same thing that I've done with the last two ground lamb kebabs. Look at that, guys. Woo! <laughs> I'm having so much fun already. <laughs> Who's not going to have fun with this? Kid you not, guys. Try it at home. Now, if, you know, if you don't like lamb, use another type of uh, ground meat. So there you go. Then I'm going to do this. Put it in the middle and close the opening like what I did earlier. Okay. There you go. Yum. Look at that. This is super fun. I don't know if you guys are having fun. Can't wait to try. Yes, you better come here. Because <laughs> I might eat this all. Big shout out. Love kebab holes at Dine Oh, I love you to Ice Cruise. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. Love you too. Nuki, shout out, big shout out to who? I didn't catch that part. <laughs> Jenga, you volunteer for food chasing, come over here and I'm gonna feed you. All right guys, so look, we have, we've finished three kebabs. I promise, I'm just gonna wipe my hand right now, but I promise to wash them very well later. The reason why I just wanted to wipe it quick is because I would like to brush these kebabs with our very simple, but super yum. So we're gonna brush it right now, prep it already for later when we grill it. So guys, another uh, good trick to um, make sure that your kebabs, um, integrity or intact is for you to refrigerate them before you uh, grill them that that way it won't fall apart but this one i've been doing this for a while now and you know what it's not going to fall apart ta-da can you imagine this yummy delicious oh who would have thought about chopsticks guys see Got a good uh, got a good trick from the dining diva today, and then so imagine this, guys, with this delicious dip. Ay ay ay! Oh my goodness! So I'm gonna put this. Yum! Look at that! That delicious dip. Once this kebab have been grilled, delicious. And guys, just to remind you, <laughs> make sure to throw or discard your. Finger wash. <laughs> okay, so let me put this in my kitchen. I mean, on my sink. And let's put um, this lamb kebab on the side. And we are going to uh, bring them back again later as we um, start grilling them away. So excuse me, guys. Let me just put these guys over there. That's right, three down. Let me, so on the screen, guys, check out our, uh, all the ingredients that I use in our kebab. This will take a little longer because I have to brush my nails. All right, guys, all right. All right. Hello, I'm back. I just washed my hands thoroughly. And guys, we are already in our fourth kebab. We just finished our lamb ground lamb kebab this is going to be fun so our next star of the show is salmon kebabs Ooh, yummy i know you're probably thinking "Ooh, how is she gonna skewer the salmon 
because they're quite fragile. Well, I'm going to show you guys what I did. Hello. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hold on, guys. All right, I'm back, guys. Had a babe, Charles. Hello, everyone. Hungry? Yes. Aren't we getting hungry, guys? Aren't we getting hungry here? All the good stuff. We're making all the good stuff here. So, um, what's next? Sorry. I keep on doing this earlier because, you know, you know, there's little hairs everywhere. All right. So, next is salmon kebab, guys. What I have here is we are going to create our just simple um, brush that we're going to use later on when we uh, grill it. Ground lamb kebab. I am Cam. That's right. We just finished it and it's awesome. So from the ground lamb to the marinade to the uh, dip. It's awesome. So now we're going to our salmon kebab, guys. So I got, this is very simple, not a lot of ingredients we have here, but I got salmon that I have cut into cubes. I have some zucchini and I have some lemon slices. So what we're going to do right now is just marinate the brush or the base, okay? So uh, we're going to start, guys, with uh half a cup of melted butter okay so i have melted the butter away yummers so what i'm using here guys is just light butter but you can use regular butter if you want and then i have two tablespoons of citrus juice so lemon juice lime juice calamansi juice it's up to you guys. So two tablespoons into our butter. So as you can see, we are creating lemon butter sauce, but we are going to spice it up. So what do we have? One fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay. One fourth teaspoon of ground pepper. There you are. Half a teaspoon of thyme. So I'm just using the dried uh, thyme herb. And then just a pinch of pepper flakes, red pepper flakes. Guys, just for a little heat. But if you, um, if you guys want it um, really spicy, you can actually add some more. So there you go, that is going to be our wash, base, marinade, and brush. There it's, I keep on missing, Nuki Vlogs, thank you for the shout out. I keep, I keep on missing your message, Nuki. So there you go, we're going to set that aside. Let me clean up a little bit. And we are going to skewer away. Oh my God, Kala! Hey, you made it! Shout out from San Diego. You made it. I think it's like what, 4 a.m., 3:30 a.m. There. Mm, thank you so much. I think. Did you alarm? <laughs> Thanks a lot, girl. Good to see you here. So, anyways, guys, Darren's diary. Shout out. Shout out to Aaron's Diary. Hi, thanks for being here. So we're going to start skewering away. Let's start with, ooh, you know what? Something is missing. Aw, onions. I have, I need onions. Here you are. Yeah. Found some onions. Yeah. Aw. So, let's go ahead and start with our salmon kebab. Yeah. So, guys, I want to start with zucchini because that will be my very, very 
face foundation right here. Jasmine, hi. So uh, after my zucchini, what I wanted to do is put some onions. And this is the fun part, guys. Yeah, the live is so smooth. Thank you so much. This is my first time to go live. Thank you so much for saying this is so smooth. Jasmine, oh my God. <laughs> See, there you go. It's not so smooth anymore. <laughs> but thank you so much. You know, I really appreciate all these good comments you have. Um, so anyways, we are going to start hearing away. I just saw a funny comment from Tess. I'm not going to answer that. She said, how come everything kebab, meaning for Bob, how come worse for Paul? <laughs> okay, that's funny. So I'm going to put some lemon, but this is how I want to show you how I wanted to put the lemon, guys. It, I, I, I sliced them very thinly, like so. If you can see, they're super thin, but because I want it pliable. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make a little curl and skewer the lemon away. Look at that, guys. See how beautiful that is? Aww, right? So now we are going to put our uh, cube salmon. As you can see, guys, I did not remove the skin. Why? Because honestly, crispy skin is so yummy and it actually helps hold the uh, fragile um, fish meat together. And that's the reason why I am going to skewer it in the middle of the, the skin, but it's kind of like hard. That's my plan, but you know what? I'm just gonna put it like so and layer all the skin in one side, just so when we grill them, the skin is going to be crispy and it will add delicious flavor in your salmon kebab so there you go now let's start to add um our zucchini look at that yummy already some onions okay and then we're gonna do our lemon once again so like I said, I slice the lemon into very thin pieces, guys, and I am going to fold away like so and skewer it like so. Make sure to skewer it properly. And look at that. It creates that beautiful curled up look. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And we're going to put our salmon, a cube of salmon right here. I kind of wanted to skewer it closer to the skin, guys, because that will uh, protect your salmon uh, better. It will be more sturdy. Okay, another. And we put our lemon again. See, putting the lemon together is so much fun, guys. So there you go. I just folded it like so. And just cure it away like so now tell me if that's not gorgeous guys look at what we did super yum yum look look at that you can add more salmon you can make it like longer but we'll stop from here well we'll stop on this one this is a good amount for me and so let's go ahead and do our second stick So zucchini, but be paid. Shout out to you, host all the way United Vloggers of UAE. United Vloggers of UAE. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for all the support. Super appreciate you guys so much. Make me your honorary member. <laughs> Even if I'm here all the way in Guam. So there you go, guys. Um, we put in the lemon. And then we're going to put in our salmon. Yum, look at that. And zucchini again. And onion again. 
lemon. This is my favorite part. Actually, you look gorgeous. Oh, I, I missed that. And that's a good message. Sometimes things may pass by Waffles. Shout out Waffles Production. Love you guys. Thanks for everything. So there you go. I'm going to do this lemon. The lemon part, guys, is making me have so much fun. I kid you not. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, your guests are going to be like, oh, my God. It's so cute. Yeah. Of course. It's from the Don and Diva. All right. Look at that. Uh-huh. 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 Look at that. Guys, guys, <laughs> kebab number two. Sama kebab number two down. And we're on our third kebab. Almost done with this salmon. Skewer away, onion, lemon. I love doing the lemon part. Honestly, if anybody wants to help me, I'd probably end up just doing the lemon part. <laughs> right, guys? Yeah. Look at that. Look at these. The Dining Diva Show is really the best. Oh, my God, Elisa. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Oh, super appreciate what you said. Oh, look at that. We're almost done. Yay. And you know, guys, lemon disinfects and lemon also cleanses the hand. So there you go. More salmon pieces. So like I, I showed you guys earlier, I'm putting all the, the skin part on one side. Okay. Just so. It holds the salmon pieces together when I grill them later. Oh, it's so cute. Lisa, what a cute little girl you are. Oh, and last but not the least, lemon. This is my last lemon folding. Ta da! Woo! Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous piece, guys. Ta-da! Boom! Delish. And now, of course, we are going to... I can't help. <laughs> Savannah, come over here because there's so much food to eat. Okay, so we're going to brush. Brush, brush. Brush, brush. So I'm going to brush these guys just so you can see it. And we'll brush them with our marinade. Lemon butter sauce, guys. This is going to be super awesome on the grill. Woo, yum. So imagine this kebab, this salmon kebab with all those nice grilled marks. Ooh, yum. Yum, yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. All right, so we're going to flip it over. As you can see, guys, there goes our skin. That part where the skin is. Roseland. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> I am not going to mention that, Savannah. <laughs> you should come here and demonstrate that. <laughs> That's hilarious, girl. That's hilarious. All right, so there you go. These guys are going to sit in the other counter right there to marinate. Jasmine, these kebabs are perfect for outings and family and barcada. It's like super, super. You nailed it, girl. Super. So let me put away our um, ingredients. I'm going to use that. We are done with our salmon kebab, guys. Hmm. 
Mopsy! Mopsy, you're here! You made it! <laughs> Mother Earth is here. Shout out to you. Guys, say hello to Mother Earth. I am so happy you made it, Mama Sita. Super, super happy you're here. Anyways, we are going to get all these guys out of here. So we're finished with our salmon kebab. All right, guys. Look at that. We already finished four kebab recipes. My goodness. Chris Villanueva in the house. I am glad that you are able to make it. Say hi. Say hi to Killer Bride. Mr. Chris Villanueva, super duper uh, poggy celebrity. <laughs> I'm glad you're able to make a friendship. And Leah, Leah Garcia, oh baby doll, you're here. Oh, thank you for being here. Shout out to you. You're also out there somewhere in the far corner of the world. So, oh no, 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 Leah. Leah, she's my girlfriend here on Guam. So, thanks for coming. Oh my God. I'm glad that you're here. Oh, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, thank you so much. I super appreciate all these wonderful comments. Super, super happy to see you guys. Okay, so let me let me situate our next. This is quite special, guys. Yeah, say hi to Mama Sita. Oh my God, how come I look so chunky? <laughs> oh my god i kid you not guys i swear to god i am slimmer in person so we are on that note i don't even want to talk about that right now i'm gonna make my i'm just gonna make my dip okay guys um we made a marinade earlier which i am going to use for our prawns here but before i begin i want to do a shout out, Dining Diva, but of course, congratulations. Oh, mwah, mwah, Mama Sita, thank you so much. My Mother Earth is here with us today. Say hi, everybody, to Mama Sita. So anyways, um, before I begin this segment of uh, prawns kebab, I just want to do a shout out for, to, sorry, I want to do a shout out to Sea Queen. So this particular segment is brought to you by Sea Queen. Hello, Sea Queen. Say hi, Sea Queen. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, please pay attention to our wonderful, wonderful recipe here. This is dedicated to Sea Queen, brought to you by Sea Queen. This is going to be a wonderful, wonderful um, recipe. So don't forget, guys, Sea Queen. There you go. So guys... See if I stretch out, I look slimmer. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and, so Sea Queen, we believe in quality, that quality is not expensive, it's priceless. Shout out to you, now we are going to make our dip. So there you go, guys. <laughs> Makes so silly there. <laughs> anyway, so what do we have here? All right, so we made the, the brush. I'm going to use the, the uh, olive oil with salt and with uh, ground pepper that we made earlier. That's the same brush that we're going to use here. But we are going to make our dip. It's a delicious dip, guys. And we are going to pour in, we're going to start pouring all together and mixing all these wonderful ingredients. So, you guys ready? Because I'm ready for the prawns kebab. So, what I have here, guys, is half a cup of milk. 
milk makes you strong and healthy. And then we have half a cup of mayo. So I'm using light mayo, guys. Onto our bowl. So the portioning of this one is a little bit more than the dip that we have. There's always reason for everything. When I put together my recipes, there's a reason why, because, you know, it's just you in this particular kebab, you will most likely need more dip. I'll explain later as we finish our dip here. So we have our mayo, our milk. Then I have, now this is going to be super garlicky flavor, guys, because I'm going to toss in one tablespoon of minced garlic. And it's fresh garlic. And for you guys that don't like to deal with fresh garlic, this um, there's a substitute for it, which is the garlic powder. So feel free to use garlic powder. And then because... Mayo is naturally salty. I am going to just put uh, one fourth teaspoon of uh, ground pepper and we're going to put some one tablespoon of cilantro, fresh cilantro, guys. So there you go. Actually, this calls for some serious whisking away. So I'm just going to whisk it. Hold on. Get my whisk right here, and we're gonna whisk it away. There we go, guys. That will be our dip for this. If you like it super thick, um, go uh, Reduce the amount of milk and add a little bit more. Kick up a notch on the mayo and it will thicken your dip. So there you go. I'm just going to put this aside just so to make way for our ta -da, prawns. We're using beautiful pieces of prawns right here, guys. Look at that. We're using big pieces of uh, prawns. Okay. There you go. So this is like a garlic sauce that you can dip your your prawns kebab. And like I said, if you want it thicker, you can just adjust the ingredients. And so now it's time to skewer. Let's get some skewer ready. All right, guys, are we ready? Hmm. What should I put first? I kind of want to begin with banana peppers. No, let's do a sturdy one, which is the green bell pepper. That will be my support when I skewer my shrimp. Oh, so cute. Oh, look, there's a soiree in my chat room. See, that's nice. Everyone's saying hi to each other. That's so cool. Okay, so there you go. I'm gonna skewer this fronds right here. Slowly, carefully, because you know they're fragile. So beautiful, look at that. You want to form letter C, C4 Calvo, C4 Chichini. So there you go. I'm going to put, um, sorry, I'm going to put some onions, some tomatoes, and some banana peppers. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, guys. Yummy. So, you know, prawns or shrimp, they have that, it's so nice to have that flavor, that onion flavor with them and um, some pickly flavor. So it actually um, makes the whole um, shish kebab complement each other. So it's gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. 
that we're adding here. Sorry, I'm gonna click the my bell papa. My bell papa. There you go. Then I'm gonna book my shrimp. Shadow Kiss Zone. Hi, you feel hungry now? <laughs> I am hungry now. <laughs> well, you can't go yet because we are still going to Grio. We still have one more uh, kebab to go, which is a special, special kebab because we're using Waggy Beef. And um, it's going to be super delicious. So one last kebab after this one. And so we have our shrimp, and I'm going to put my onions. I'm getting my tomatoes, tomato, and then I'm going to put another layer of uh, banana pepper. Mm, yummy. Look at that. So delicious. And after that, we're going to put uh, some bell pepper. And guys, if you're feeling generous, go and put one more prawns. Contact C Queen, because she has a lot of prawns, guys. Ooh, look how delicious that looks. Huh? Huh? Guys, guys. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous. We just made super gorgeous, gorgeous shrimp kebab. Guys, look at this. Huh? Look at that. You guys see it? Makes me hungry, Jasmine. <laughs> yeah. It makes me hungry too. Look at that. Gorgeous piece. I'll save that for later. Big one in the bottom. So basically, just like we've done in other previous kebabs, guys, we are just going to layer all the ingredients away. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Oh, so cute. My guests are... Chatting away with each other. That is awesome, guys. There you go. And look how gorgeous that is. Guys, look at that. Ta-da! Prawn is life. You're right. Wakala's production. Prawn is life. It's delish. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> it's smiling. Ooh, yes. Mackie. Mackie D. Mackie D, awesome, awesome. She used to vlog about. She's incredible. She has this vlog, Mackie D's makeup. Man, it was incredible. She started a long time ago, like more than five years ago, and she has a lot of following already. But she kind of got busy and she stopped it. So I'm trying to encourage her to do it again. Shout out to Mac D. Shout out kids. Mount watering. Throw one here. Here you go. Are you ready? <laughs> I will. Let me finish this. Shadow kiss. Thanks for being here. Super appreciate seeing you our channel there you go look at that <gasps> look at that i'm almost finished with my third guys Ta -da. did i do it right no onion onion and then tomato and then the papa the banana papa and then you do this the bell pepper, and then the shrimp. Ooh. All right, guys. Look how beautiful this prawns kebab. <laughs> wow. These are glorious. Brought to you by Sea Queen. Thank you so much. 
Look at that. Incredible. So we're done with this, guys. So what I'm going to do now. Okay. So so our dip, guys, just to remind you that we have a dip. It's a little soupy, but that's how it's supposed to be. But for people who are looking for a dip that is thick, go and play around with your ingredients. A shadow poho, something that they're doing yet. Da Donya Boudin, I love your username. Oh, she said, Ang ganda talaga ng host. That means the host is beautiful. <laughs> oh my God, thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. Okay, why was I holding this? Oh, I used it for the job. All right, guys. What I'm going to do now is... Uh, Donya Bedin, oh, shout out to me. Hi. I am going now to base our prawns. Look at that. Look at that. Base, base. Nah. John Young, hungry dude. I knew you were so pretty. Nice to meet you. I feel hungry, Emmeline. Vlogs. Hi, shout out to you. Thank you so much for being here. Super appreciate it. And I'm going to flip it over, guys, and also brush the other side. Okay. I'm so happy to have you as my talented cook, Tita Ganda, cooking Tita Ganda. Thank you, Aliza. I'm so proud to have you, too, as my beautiful, talented niece. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. Hi to mommy and daddy. Are they watching? There you go, guys. Huh. Boom. Shadow kiss. And we're done. Guys, this is our fifth recipe. Mm, incredible, incredible. I'm just so happy. So now what I'm going to do is uh, put away our, hey, I see somebody here. Ganda naman ng diva. Hello, Mr. Roy Adonai. How are you? Shout out to you. Thank you for coming around, stopping by my kitchen. Happy to see you. Ganda naman ng chef. Yes, of course. <laughs> so. There we go, guys. We're done with this. I'm going to put this away. So glad to see you here, Roy. Appreciate. So we'll put away our ingredients. Oh, my God. My counter is full. <laughs> so I am going to put this right here, guys. Wow, we are going to grill so many kebabs today. I have no... Space! Let me wash my hand quick, guys. All right, so the reason why I often um, wash my hands, guys, because we uh, have been handling different kinds of meat. Ooh, that is not a complimenting shot. All right. That makes me not want to watch it anymore. <laughs> me and my mommy's watching here from Dubai. Shout out, Aliza and Lucille from Dubai. Hello. Hi, guys. Shout out. Oh, my goodness. We have come to... Almost the end of our show. This is so delicious. Well, it's really not end because we're still going to grill, guys. So our next is, ta-da! We are going to make Wagyu beef kebabs, guys. So this particular episode, guys, and this portion is brought to you by Taste. So, shout out to Chase. Thank you so much. And um, we are going to make um, 
Wagyu kebab kebabs uh, dedicated to taste. So hi, shout out. Hello, hello, taste. These are glorious. These are awesome. I cannot wait to work on this particular ingredient. So Wagyu cubes, guys, this is amazing. It just, it's a really, really, really gorgeous uh, type of beef that um, is just delicious and it melts in your mouth and super tender. So that's what we're going to work on right now. This is our last recipe, our sixth uh, kebab recipe, and we are making Wagyu beef kebabs. Yummers! So, on that note, we're just going to skewer away just a few ingredients. We have red bell peppers, portobello mushroom, guys. We have onions, and we also have, of course, our wagyu beef here. But we have here a number of seasoning and stuff that we are going to turn into and mix into our uh, marinade, mix, brush, base, whatever you want to call it. So on that note, guys, I am going to use this tiny little, it's cute, right? Whisk. Kebabs inspire, what about kebabs inspires you? Maki, what does that mean? What about kebabs? It's inspired, kebabs are inspiring because, you know, it's just so fun to skewer away. It's fun to make all those Dips and it's fun to it's fun to make all those uh, base and basing um, mixture marinades whatever it's just so much fun for me so that's why I chose kebabs as my pioneer my initial my very first live broadcast so guys let's go ahead and make our marinade or our basting so I have here half a cup of uh, olive oil onto our bowl. Then I am going to add this glorious, I love rosemary. Guys, I'm using fresh rosemary herb and I'm going to incorporate one tablespoon into our olive oil. Wagyu, yes! Wagyu is my favorite too. So there you go. And then we're going to season it with one fourth uh, teaspoon of salt, like so. One fourth teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And half a teaspoon of onion powder. There you go, guys. So we're just we're just gonna go ahead and whisk away, glorious, glorious. I have, uh, we have a little, um, just a little. Let me just fix something, guys. Sorry about that. So um, let's go ahead and show you guys first the ingredients that we use. I just want to juice up my phone a little bit because this one right here on top kind of gave up on us. I guess the battery just gave up on us. So pardon me if you can see a little plug right there. Um, that's fine. Things like this happen, right? but we are still here. There you go. All right, just a minor glitch. Our other camera is just, but we're still here and we're still whisking away. So, um, I am just logging in again so you can actually see what is going on in front of us. I am just glad that I caught that earlier.
So there you go. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm just juicing it up a little bit while I whisk away. So just a recap, guys. There you go. And we're back. Yay. Well, actually, I did not leave you. It's just this part right here kind of left you. I, I don't even remember how long it's been, but I just hope that it's just now. But anyways, we're whisking away. So what I did here is just pour the half a cup of olive oil, one tablespoon of rosemary, fresh rosemary, uh, one quart teaspoon of salt, one quart teaspoon of fresh ground pepper, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and half a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder. We're going to set this aside. Let me clean up a bit. And I am going to start skewering away this beautiful Wagyu beef. Sorry, guys. All right, so I am going to start, while we're waiting for this baby to get juiced up a little bit, I'm going to start with my first kebab. So this is our Wagyu beef kebab, guys. Look at these glorious pieces. I just want to show you guys. Gosh, the marbling is just incredible. Okay, bear with me. So much for bearing with me. I am just carrying away our first kebab, our first wagyu beef kebab. So what I did was I put the, the red bell pepper first and then our wagyu beef cube and then um, the onions and then pour the bell of mushroom and um, bell pepper again, wagyu beef cubes and so on and so forth. Guys, I, I chose, I picked this ingredient because they will definitely complement each other. So the Wagyu beef with portobello mushroom, mmm, delish. This is going to be glorious. So there you go. How gorgeous is that already, guys? Look at that. There you go. There you go, guys. 
Chris. Okay, now. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, Chris, for letting me know. Yeah, it's just this guy right up here that kind of died up on us. But uh, let's go ahead and finish this delicious, delicious, gorgeous piece. I was waiting for this, actually, because this makes me hungry. All right. On to our you know, watching from Malaysia. Hi, Rosalind. From Malaysia, how are you? Sorry, guys. Okay. Go. Cool. All right. I think I lost the. Uh... Let's juice them up. Let's finish this first. And I'm gonna just show you guys. I wanna I wanna give it time to get juiced up, and I wanna finish this uh, our final kebab recipe that is super gorgeous. So, like I said, guys, these guys the 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 ingredients that we chose here, Wagyu and Portobello mushroom, guys, is glorious. They're two of my favorite ingredients. And, you know, that very nice, delectable, buttery flavor from the beef and then the earthy flavor from the Portobello mushroom. Just, uh, it's just awesome together, guys. So there you go. We're almost done with our second stick. Yes. Wow, feeling generous with my beef cubes here. I got so I'm putting three per stick. Yum. And we're gonna end it with a nice red bell pepper. There you go. Yeah, there guys. Oh, look at that. So gorgeous. Make Hawaiian Bulacan e vlog. Hi, shout out to you that from Bulacan. Oh my goodness, thank you for being here. Super appreciated. And there you go. There you go. Hmm. I cannot wait to grill this baby right here. It's just making me hungry. Whoa. Look at this beautiful recipe that we put together, guys. Appreciate it. That you guys are here to witness this glorious, glorious moment. All right. And we're done stirring away our Wagyu beef, brought to you by Taste. Yay! So, guys, look. Gorgeous. I'm going to show you guys. Gorgeous pieces of Wagyu steak. Now, what we're going to do next, guys, is I want to taste this. Where's my brunch? Yeah, now one last brush. So this rosemary base, we're going to use it. Let's see. Let's see if he's going to cooperate now. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Hold on, guys. I know. This is why you're just... I don't want to take it down. I just want to do it from here. Come on. Yes! I'm getting inside. Hello. <gasps> yes! All right. Guys, look. 
And we're back. So now you can see what we have here in our plate in front of us. We have our kebabs. I'm basting it right now. And I was just in. Aww. See? Have you guys really, have you guys ever experienced technical problems like this? Well, this is my first, so I think we're handling it pretty well, guys, right? And thank you so much for all your patience. But look, as promised, I am delivering such wonderful recipes to all of you guys. Right? So what I'm doing is, remember the rosemary marinade that we have created earlier? I am just brushing this beautiful kebab with that. And after this side, we are just going to flip it away and brush the other side, okay? There you go. Everybody okay? Is everyone okay, guys? Thank you for your patience. There you go. And we're done basting all these babies away. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh. Can't wait to grill these guys. Ah. Oh my goodness. These are going to be glorious, perfect. Look how beautiful these guys are. Guys, beautiful. All right. And I am going to put these guys here in our counter. Well, maybe that will be the last, just in case our baby gets back. I'm going to wash my hands, guys. Sorry. Sorry about my plug. So there's her Wagyu beef. And let's see. Are you plugging? Oh, man. So guys, there you guys, I was just waiting for you guys because I wanted to show you guys these babies. But this guy is not cooperating. You know, glitches are part of life, guys. And it's really how you roll with the punches that makes it um, work. I love your smile, Chef Diva. Thanks, Miss Tess. Hello, you smile too. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so
Então, All right, guys, so we just finished all five, I mean, six of our kebabs. So there you go, guys. This is the most I can do right now. It's just to show you guys what we have. Look how gorgeous these kebabs are. Oh, my God. So like I mentioned, um, guys, Sorry, I'm typing away. <laughs> so, like I mentioned, guys, um, uh, glitches happen in life. And it's really how we roll with the punches that matters a lot. So, you know what? We should still stay pretty and happy. And um, what we're going to do right now, guys, is I would like to prep my grill and start grilling our kebabs. So I'm going to put this aside, put this away, but I do want to take a short break. Um, I hope that you guys are going to stay tuned. We're not going to be gone for a long time. Hold on, guys. I'm answering some questions, <laughs> typing away. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and take a short break, guys. Um, give me about two minutes, five minutes, or um, two minutes at the earliest, because I want to prep up my grill. So I just want to put away all these uh, stuff, and because this is what we're going to use underneath. There goes my stove top. And that's where we're going to set up our grill. Because I want to show you guys um, uh, how we're grilling our kebab. So I will see you guys right back. Please take a little break, drink some water, get some food. For those of you who were telling me earlier that you guys are hungry, go grab some snack because we are still going to talk some more we're going to grill we're gonna have fun i'm gonna answer all your questions so fire away guys when we come back i'll see you in a bit
So I got them here. So I got them on my here. grill. On my grill. And and we're just gonna wait until we're, we're just gonna wait until we finish. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Super super appreciate super appreciate it. Super appreciate Super appreciate everyone. Thank you. I really appreciate all your love. Sending love back. So there you go, guys. I am already, what I'm doing is I started grilling one of each kind. So I have six kebabs here of all sorts. It's so glorious. It's wonderful. I think you can actually see it from there. Um, I am, um, I really apologize for our technical, I guess, uh, this phone up here did not, <laughs> did not have the rock star endurance, guys. So not like us, right? So go ahead and type away, ask any questions, anything and everything under the sun, guys, and we will try to answer everything. There you go. So... <clears throat> so we're waiting for you guys. Oh. I just wanted to purposely take a sip in front of you guys because I want to do a shout out to my good friend, um, Nuki Blogs, because he, uh, Nuki, uh, um, the one advice that Nuki gave me is to make sure you have water when you're doing the live show. And you know what? True enough. It's super helpful. Hold on, guys. There you go. So we are going to check. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh. So there you go. I flipped that baby up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Delish. Woohoo. Wow. Wow. I'm going to put my shrimp over here, guys. Yeah. Because I want to sear that. Uh, do you remember the salmon skin from our salmon kebab? So we used the skin. We, we included the skin. And that's going to be super crispy. And that's going to be awesome later. Oh, I'm glad. So you can actually see exactly what's happening here in front of you guys. It's just glorious. The smell of all these things is just glorious. Ooh, yummy. Here's my tongue. I'm gonna flip them around because I don't want to burn myself. Look at that beautiful, beautiful kebab. Now, because we are cooking ground uh, meat, we want to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. And that's the reason why I kind of put it in front. So what I'm using, guys, is just a flat grill. Um, you can actually use your barbecue grill when you're doing your kebabs, which is, yeah, the norm. But um, I also use my stove top uh, for, for grilling. And I just use this flat grill that is, um, have that grill mark. So those are going to be like... Uh, beautiful characters. They're going to give a beautiful character to our kebab. So I'm going to flip these guys around. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They're smelling so gorgeous here. Ooh, look at our vegetables. So guys, um, Nuki Blogs, oh, thank you for all the love. Nakakatakam naman, this is John. Yes, it's super delicious. I wish you guys were here so we can actually enjoy this beautiful recipe. But guys, I hope that you guys can actually create this in the comforts of your home and do this with your family or your friends. This is such an incredible, incredible recipe all together. 
I worked so hard to put this together for you guys. It's kind of pretty ambitious to, to come up with six recipes on your very first live broadcast. But here we are, and we kind of like finished doing all the six kebab recipes, and we're now grilling. So, yes, we are going to graduate with flying colors, as Miss Marta's question said. Good job. Yay. I'm going to turn on my heat because ooh, the delicious smoke everywhere. So I'm going to turn this guy around again. Yes, we're going to do that. So I'm going to start flipping these guys' faces away. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Actually, I have a pair two songs. Ta-da! Because I want to do this. This is really how I do it. You know, when I'm grilling, they're in my house. You are really one of the best chefs in the world. Oh my God, Lisa, you are the sweetest thing in the whole wide world. Thank you. Incredible, incredible. This looks so delish. So super delish, guys. Looks so yummy. Yes, guys, it's incredibly yummy. Look at these, guys. Can you imagine serving this to your fam bam? Ooh. So the Wagyu beef, guys, all the fattiness and everything, you don't want to overcook it. See? Tricks of the trade, guys. Ella, Ella, baby. Hungry mud. I'm just watching. Mac and Quad, I can already smell the yumminess. Yes. And we are going to do a lot of kebabs when you get around here. So you want to watch your. Like this one, look at this. Awesomeness. I'm gonna lift this up already. Ooh, yeah. I like to turn it around so all the corners or the sides are real with real much. She's not just a good cook, but the skill goes also. Oh, thank you, Sam. Appreciate your comments, really. I'm such a newbie here. I'm super newbie. Uh, but you know what? I enjoy what I do. I love what I do. I'm passionate about what I do. So, you know, it makes it so much easier. And I have been cooking for a long time already. So it's just such an incredible, incredible feeling to be right in front of you guys and sharing all these delicious Recipes for all you guys. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to turn off the heat because we're now down to our shrimp. And you know how it is. The prawns are easy to cook, guys. There you go. Look at that deliciousness. So let me just make room. Ow. You know what? That was a salmon skin. <laughs> All right. How delicious is that? 
you know, I don't like to overcook my prawns because prawns tend to get rubbery when it's overcooked. So you just want to keep an eye to be on these babies. Season host and I'm pro chef. So proud of you, sister. Ah, so proud. Thank you so much. With all our cakes and challenges today, really, it's just a battery. <laughs> we have to use a, a, a device with longer lifespan, right? There you go. Guys, this is incredible. This is amazing. I cannot wait to eat this with the dip that we made. Remember all those dips that we created earlier? Yum. Look at this one. Roasting the banana peppers. Yum. Guys, I can't believe I survived my initial broadcast. And I have so much fun. It's incredible. Thank you so much to all of you guys. Really, I super appreciate it. Marlene! Oh, I just saw my lane. Oh, my gosh. Super appreciate. Fellow assumptionista in the house. Mom, she, Marlene, shout out to you. A bottle of beer is good for this. Uh-huh. Shadow kid zone. That's right. But you know what? I'm going to have myself a glass of white wine later. <laughs> So there you go. Super duper hot. Super duper dangerous. So I'm just going to leave that to cool off, guys. And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to cover it with this. Just so it's not as dangerous. Voila. Kitchen tricks. Now I have me bored that I can put this beautiful creation that we made together. Oh my God, yes, Mackie, it's super so raw. Super, I wish you guys are here, so yes, they do look perfect, and I'm super proud, oh my God. And guys, honestly, all of you inspire me. It's you guys that really inspire me to create recipes, to keep on going, you know, honestly, um, I, I believe there's about a hundred or so ingredients that we put together today. So I prepped up everything, all the veggies, all the meats, all the seasoning, all that, you know, um, I've been prepping as a matter of fact, yesterday was, uh, the day before this show. I ended up sleeping at 4 a.m. this morning because I was chopping away until way past midnight. Good thing I just had dinner, if not drool. <laughs> yes, this, this, these kebabs, this recipe is drool worthy, guys. So I want to show you guys what we have created. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? Oh, my God. Super proud. You know. Oh, my God. These are so delish. And look, can you imagine serving this to your fam bum? Can you imagine serving this to party? You know, making this. You can just have, guys. Oh, <laughs> Jed, Jed Adel said, swear to Nirvana. Oh, Savannah, you're so lucky because I guess you get to try all these, right? So going back to what I was saying, guys, imagine having a kebab party. Oh, my goodness. This is what you call kebabs to impress, guys. So super duper awesome. I hope that you guys love this show. You know, it's... um. It's a lot of effort, love, passion, dedication that was poured into this very first episode. So I also want to uh, give a shout out to Wakala's production for, for, for helping me out to put this whole thing together. So that was incredible. And of course, the likes of, you know, uh, a lot of my friends who support me in the back scene, you know, like giving me advice and everything like Nuki Vlogs and, um, oh, of course, you know, 
uh, United Vloggers of UAE. Oh my God, thank you so much. And all my girlfriends in all corners and guy friends, all corners of the world. Can you imagine we even had a celebrity pop in earlier? I don't know if Chris Villanueva is still here in the house, but um, yeah, he's a childhood friend of mine. We grew up together, him and uh, Romnick Sermentis. So one of these days, we're gonna bring them over here in my kitchen and I will make them cook for you guys and hopefully they will oblige. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So this is so incredible. Um, I just want to talk about um, our raffle again, guys. I want to remind everybody that we do have a raffle prize of $100 to one lucky winner uh, that can actually follow uh, all the mechanics and that will be pulled out from our Diva Raffle Bowl. Okay, guys. So Put on your entries and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to send a proof of, uh, of subscription to Wakalas. Don't forget to watch any of my videos and comment. And don't forget to comment here below. You're already here, guys. And I see a lot of interactions and comments. And um, um, congratulations, Maya from Jed. I love you. I love you too, Jed. Thank you so much. So those are the criteria. Very, very simple, guys. So I hope and um, I look forward to drawing. Once all the entries are given to me, we're going to put it in a bowl, the Diva Bowl. And then we're going to pull out the name of that lucky winner that we're going to send you the money. So you can go ahead and shop for your kebab ingredients and make this for your fam fam. Yay! So, guys, on that note, I just want to say thank you so much. I super duper duper appreciate that all you guys are here with me today. It really, really, really means a lot because this is my first. So judging on the outcome of our show, even if we had a little glitch, a little technical glitch up here, judging from everything, it looks like I will continue to bring you guys live shows. Yay! <laughs> there we go, guys. Ta-da! On that note, guys, I want to say I love you all and thank you so much for all your support and please don't stop supporting the Dining Diva show. This is Shelly Calvo. I love you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Mwah, 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 mwah. Until next time, guys. We will see you guys again. Bye.